Can you just sort of tell us what your life has been like since the Hurt Locker's come out? Uh, it's been uh, 18 months of peaks and valleys and um, more peaks than valleys, for sure. I think all the valleys were in the process of shooting it, but once it sort of came out, it kind of kind of chugged along and found uh, found his life as his own. It's been a tremendous ride. I remember seeing this movie at Toronto, and you know it took a little while for, for it to come out. So, had you put it out of your mind, or were you surprised by the attention it got? Yeah, yeah. I mean, every time we we hit one of those plateaus that I was talking about, it was or those peaks. It was um, all right. Wash our hands. We're done. All right. Went to Venice and Toronto, then it got purchased. Or then Mackie and I got nominated for a Spirit Award last year for a movie that wasn't out for another nine months. And then, so we're like, oh, this is amazing. This is going to be better than this. Yeah, all right, okay. Let's go get it back to work. And then it releases and like on four screens and then 400, and then awards came around. I'm like, oh my goodness. So it's just one of those things where, uh, you know, Awesome. <laughs> Where were you when you found out about the Oscar nomination for yourself? I was on the Today Show on live TV in the morning, which is, you know, it's already a pretty stressful thing anyway. And then have a camera shoving your face on live TV, seeing if you get nominated or not. And yeah, just why not just tack on the added pressure? And then uh, awesome. Everybody started screaming, crying, and I don't know what I did. I think I vomited or something and then I called my mom to see if she wanted to come with it and then I was it's been a wild really wild ride after that um, so, first of all something uh, Catherine Bigelow is immensely talented great director um, very exciting that that she might win she's also drop-dead gorgeous yeah <laughs> what was it like taking orders from uh, someone so beautiful well Catherine Bigelow yes yeah, she is beautiful but you know, it, that's what's deceiving, because she's stronger than any of us on the set. She had to endure a lot of physical um, strain uh, being out there in the Middle East. And then also just being a woman in the Middle East is a little different than it is being in the States, right? So that's the only reason why I even consider her to be a woman. It's like, oh wait, Catherine, wait, this is an awesome movie, and a woman directed it? Well, a woman directed it in those circumstances, yes, but just because she's a woman doesn't really, um, dictate uh, that she can't direct a, a visceral, muscular movie like The Hurt Locker, you know? Has there, uh, is there anyone that you are looking forward to meeting or at the Oscars, or have you met everyone at this point? I've met a lot of, a lot of cool ones. I've met a lot, a lot of uh, idols of mine, and uh, that people that I've watched for many years that inspired me over the years. And, uh, I mean, she, geez, I mean, every, everybody I'm lumped in against uh, in the, uh, Best actor category will inspire me, you know. But uh, who knows? I mean, I, I Caesar Milan, you know, I'd be starstruck by that guy. I love that little dude. I don't even know if he's little. I'm assuming he is on his little rollerblades and little chihuahuas and stuff. I love that dude. But uh, I, I don't know. I, I'll let you know when, when I get starstruck when I see somebody. <laughs>